and Bonties! I know mates, so before we get started with this regular scheduled programming, here's a special surprise for you. So here in this channel, we really love and appreciate all of you guys watching these videos. And to show our appreciation, we want to give something back to you guys. So here's a $25 gift card code to Hot Topic. No scam, no joke, definitely use it. Do it right now mates, because there's probably like three other people watching this video right at this second, and they probably screenshotted this, and they're probably using it right now. So if you're watching this right now, what are you doing? D use the code right now, hurry! And if you're the one who used this gift card code definitely comment below tell us what you got and we will pin the comments in the comment sections and don't worry mates if you missed out on this one we will do some more in the future so to keep yourselves updated follow my friend Pedro on Instagram he will post that and uh, yeah mates uh, anyways let's get on with this video Whoa, mate, what is up with all these extra patches you're not using? Oh, those old things, Ordip? Uh, I was planning on using those for some future projects. Oh, cool. Like, what type of projects, mate? Oh, you know, just like these things. Mate, those are dumb ideas. How about you use these patches to make another pair of your famous stage pants? Maybe you can even make it for a video. But that's also a dumb idea. Who would want to watch me find some cool patches online, put them on a pair of pants, and even learn how to style them? Wait a minute, all that sounds interesting to you guys, doesn't it? Hello guys! So today I'm going to show you guys how to make crust pants, or what I like to call stage pants, mainly because I wear these on stage. I'm also going to show you where you guys can find some cool patches like this, and this, and this one. Oh wait, this is Killbot's patch. Yeah, you can find this patch on his band camp. Definitely go check them out. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys where you can find some cool patches like that online. And after doing that, I'm going to show you guys how to sew it onto your pants. I'm also going to show you guys how to style this. So yeah, and not only that, but I'm going to show you guys a tour of my battle vest because I did change a little bit of things for my battle vest and my current patch pants. And technically, this video is a sequel to my battle vest video and my outfits for metalheads video so if you guys like those two videos and you guys want to learn how to make your own patch pants like these then this is the video for you but again before we get started please like share and subscribe follow me on instagram follow my band on instagram definitely check my band out we're on all streaming platforms but yeah let's get on with this video <laughs> All right, so a lot of you guys are probably wondering, where can you find some cool patches? Well, you know, I could give you the easy answers. Like you could always go to your local record store. They most of the time will always have some good patches there. But if you really want to find a patch of your favorite band, you know, you could always go to their website. It's just most of the time they're overpriced and I get it. Not a lot of us can afford freaking $30 patches. So this website, Angry Young and Poor, um, I've gotten this website recommended to me when I watched a TikTok. I know, TikTok out of everything recommended this to me. but. They they got some good stuff in here. Let me just show you around. Let's take a quick tour. So as you can see, we got a 666 patch, a 138, because we are 138. If you get that reference, comment below. We got a ton of ACDC patches. I, I don't know who needs this much ACDC patches, but I mean, hey, if you're a big ACDC fan, uh, more power to you, man. We got Airborne. I have not even seen Airborne merch anywhere oh my god all i wanted was a pepsi ah oh, crap i wish i ordered this one what why did i just now see this yep there's a jfk one that i bought i really love it it's can i can i even show that on youtube the bloody skull logo i really need this one okay you know like i might put some more patches on my pants after this video and who knows i could make an update video on it uh comment below if you do want to see that but um so yeah if you want to make like your battle vest or just any type of clothing awesome in general you can definitely come to this website I'm not sponsored by angry young and poor i just really love this site i also completely forgot to say this but you don't even have to buy patches you can always make your own patches with a piece of cloth some white out and just a little bit of a imagination <laughs> I'm gonna make me a new patch <laughs> 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 This white out is being a poser! 
But anyways, let me show you guys my updated battle vest and also my first pair of pants that I patched up myself. <laughs> All right, here's my battle jacket, and in all honesty, nothing has really changed from it. If you guys really want to see a full tour video on this battle jacket specifically, I already made a video on that, uh, go check it out. But yeah, the only update I really have on this battle jacket is the back patch. Uh, it used to be an Avenged Sevenfold one, but now it's a Misfits one because it's not that I changed my mind about Avenged Sevenfold. I really love Avenged Sevenfold. It's just, I had the Hail to the King patch because that was the only good patch that I found. In all honesty, Hail to the King isn't really my favorite album of Avenged Sevenfold. I would have taken Wake in the Fallen, but they didn't have that. This Misfits patch really looks nice, and I honestly really want it, and I really love the Misfits, if you guys know me. And I guess I would say I also added a lot more pins and enamels in the front, if you guys want to take a good look at those. Uh, as you can see, I got a lot of Misfits ones. I got a Misfits enamel that I got from Guitar Center. Uh, I got these My Chemical Romance pins that I actually got from my job, and I even got some more new pins and enamels in this one, especially this Earth AD Misfits one, which is honestly my favorite. But anyways, let's go to my crust pants or my stage pants. You know what I call them now. So here are my crust pants, stage pants, or whatever you want to call them. I got a Mayhem patch, Death Crush, one of my favorite albums. I got a Mangala patch. They're a local hardcore band from Texas. Definitely check them out. They're on Spotify and Apple Music. And then down here, I got Ramones and Misfits, two of my favorite, most favorite punk bands. And on the other side, we got Bring Me The Horizon and Ghostface. And up here, we also got another Misfits patch, because why not? And a Bad Religion patch. Not only that, but the thread is starting to wear down. So instead of sewing it, I just put a little pin on it and uh yeah as you can tell i got these pants from hot topic and i just have way too many black jeans so that's why i decided to patch these ones up but anyways let's get on to making my new pants <laughs> So the first step is to get a pair of jeans. Perfect! Now throw some patches on those pants. This right here is the planning process. What we are doing here is planning out where you want to put the patches on and how good it would look. Alright, so in the planning process, what I usually like to do is actually wear the jeans and, and plan out where all the patches are going to lie on. I usually do not do anywhere near the knees because that's just the way I like to do it, but you guys can do it whatever way you want to. The planning process can be very complicated. In fact, you might even have to change your mind a lot because you don't know what patches you want people to see first. and what patches you want people to see last. This process is super complicated and may cause a massive headache, but a cup of coffee should heal that up. And here's my concept. Now let's start sewing. <laughs> So now it's time for the actual sewing process. So what I use is this sewing kit that I bought off of Michael's, which is a arts and crafts store. So yeah, definitely go check out your local arts and crafts store, see if they got a little sewing kit like this. I will say the important things you're gonna need is, the, is this little tomato thingy. They'll hold on to all your needles and your pins just in case you don't need them anymore. Comes with a thimble too, because you're gonna need a thimble, trust me. You don't wanna stab your finger. I've done it so many times. And it also came with a bunch of different colored thread, but you know me, I usually use the black or the white thread but again i know some people that don't even use thread to sew in their patches i know a lot of people use dental floss that's actually very popular back then when people did crust pants and battle jackets they didn't really wash it but when they do the dental floss would actually make it smell like mint but anyways here's a whole montage of me sewing this onto my pants mm -hmm.
Alright, it took me about three days, but here it is. Again, I'm not the best at sewing, and if you guys want to learn how to hand sew, there are some good tutorials on YouTube. My way of sewing isn't the right way per se, but it works a lot for me. I guess find a way that works for you and go with it. Now let me show you guys how to style it. Alright, so for this first outfit, I'm wearing a black and red striped shirt that I ripped up myself. I think it really looks good with this. Kind of reminds me of like old UK punk, kind of like the Sex Pistols. I don't know, it just gives me that vibe right there. And this next outfit, it's kind of the same as the first, but I just put on a little button up. I'm just trying to show you guys that you could also wear a button up with these pants and it'll still look good. Alright, so this next one I have is a Falling in Reverse shirt. Just trying to show you guys that if you have a black shirt with red print on it, it'll still look good. That's the main reason why I added a lot of red and white patches, just to fit with the color scheme that I usually go with. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching, and please like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you guys want more videos like this, please comment below. And again, if you guys missed out on the gift card, don't worry, I will be doing some more in the future. Just follow me on Instagram, and just follow me on Instagram to keep up with whenever I'm gonna do it, because I will post it there first before I even post it to the video. And yeah, just make sure to follow me on Instagram, follow my band on Instagram, follow my band members on Instagram, they will truly appreciate it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.